Take my hand, my love, and let us wander along this path of grass as if it was made just for us. Feet and bodies carry our spirits along gently, through soft scent, and let us be content in wild nature. Allow a childlike wonder to infuse your thoughts, which, freshly renewed, can expand beyond the paths of man, that stone laid down, untamed ground made strangely straight and measured. Come, take pleasure in turns and overgrowth. Get closer to the land. You are a part of this world, not separate or distinct. Do not pass by leaf, root, branch or petal. Revel in nature. Take the path of grass. Grecian Valley here at Stowe, I think, is incredibly special. From a historical point of view, obviously being Capability Brown's first landscape garden, but it's that idea of being a managed landscape that we are trying to improve on nature. And it kind of fascinated me that we could use the medium of landscape gardening to convey meaning, symbolism, metaphor, uh, politics, philosophy. And as a poet, it's kind of really exciting to uncover that and then explore the stories that have happened here. Come dance with me and we'll forget that we have not our pleasures yet, that pastures promising living, nature green and unforgiving. And we will sit upon the rocks, seeing empty land, not our flocks, whose numbers dwindled and all fell, a melancholy song, farewell. In dying light we dance and sing, let us not think of the morning, there will be time for our regret. Come dance with me and we'll forget. The idea of the shepherd in his field singing to his sheep is key to the English rural idyll and typified in lots of poetry from the 18th century. I wanted to respond to that in a slightly more contemporary way. I've been working with people here in the valley to unlock their creativity. We've been exploring it uh, and writing things uh, using some poetry prompts. I suppose we're trying to get people connected back to nature and hopefully enhance their sense of well-being. Participating in the workshop has really helped me gain my confidence in creative writing because I never really thought I could do anything like that. My poem was um, about the people who worked on the land and gives an insight hopefully into the way they worked. Cut the grass from early in the morning to late at night. Hard sweaty work swishing through the grass with the team. Stopping occasionally to drink or sharpen the scythe. I like the valley because it's just so peaceful. The temples and statues are steeped in history and there's so many different trees and wildlife and it's just such a peaceful place to be. The workshop I did with Dan was really good because it really opened my eyes of how it's so easy to use poetry on a day-to-day -day basis. It takes a little bit of thinking but the end result is really good. I garden day to day, holding and making memories in such an amazing way, meeting and passing spirits, making peace with nature. One of my friends has written about the Hercules statue. It's a Herculean job, wrestling for all time, with my friend, a waiting naked chap. I could get off this plinth if I were not made of stone, carrying my friend for all eternity. I've worked with so many staff and volunteers, gardeners, tour guides, and it's really been interesting to give them a new perspective, I suppose, on this place they probably know really well. So approaching it from a poetic point of view and actually taking a little bit of ownership in a creative way. How can they respond using poetry? And I think that's really empowering. I think it's a new way to give yourself a voice. It's a good way to say something interesting and unique about this place perhaps you're looking at from a different angle. So the project itself has been incredible, it's been superb. If you want to enjoy more of the poetry that Dan has written especially for us here at Stowe, there's a book available in the shop so you could stroll through the Grecian Valley, poetry in hand, enjoying it as you walk. You may even want to write a poem of your own. Or if poetry is not your thing, why not just visit the Grecian Valley anyway? Take a stroll, sit on a bench and enjoy this wonderful pastoral landscape. <laughs>